and welcome to today's episode of 31 Nights of Horror um, with me Sam and Dan and today we are looking at the film Suspiria Ooh, quite an old film this is the 70s I believe yeah it looks like it yeah, definitely looks like it for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it says a lot really his face um, okay I'm going to go through the synopsis this one it's a very simple one um, very basic Ish. You, um, you've got the girl who um, comes from New York and she um, starts a new um, school, ad adult school, um, ballet school. I believe it's, it's uh, uh, the girls there are all European. No, there's a couple of other American girls. But they, um, they seem like, I think the teachers are Russian, aren't they? One of the teachers Or thereabouts. So it's, I don't remember it ever saying exactly where it was actually set. I might yeah, be wrong. It looked like it was meant to be Italy or something. It's definitely yeah. Europe. Yeah. But they, um, she turns up to her first day in this um, this ballet school or dance school in Europe, and there's a massive storm. And as the girl's going in, she sees one of the girls coming out. She's rushing, and um, she's in a right panic. And she says a few words, and then she rushes off, and she's terrified. But anyway, this girl, the main one, starts her lessons and everything. And everything seems to be okay. She's not very well, and she gets kept away for a little while. And she realizes that everyone's very abrupt and very strange. And she soon learns that um, things aren't quite what they seem at this school. And she starts to piece together sort of the strange goings on, and then um, figures out in the end that they are actually witches that run the school. It's mm. pretty much it. It's very simple this one, mm. but um, very creepy. Um, well, it's a mm. simple base storyline. Mm. The 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 way you get to the ending is very convoluted. Um, <coughs> they don't take the quickest route, that's for sure. No, it? and um, she takes a drastic transformation in the reveal. Um, in the fact that the whole time that she's there, she seems like really naive and stupid, and she like takes. She get, keeps getting fed like dinners which are meant to put her out and make her, a drug her basically and she sort of takes that and does that but then all of a sudden um, after one of her friends dies like within seconds she's suddenly this extra smart person who can like she counts um, footsteps to be able to follow people down hallways and then she um, manages to solve like a little puzzle when it comes to a wall and um, a blue iris and then she manages to work out exactly what's going on so like within two seconds of the film she suddenly becomes an incredibly intelligent character and it's like a drastic transformation of what she is teachers that run the that. school they um they disappear every evening i think i said at 9 30 after dinner they go that's it they're gone sort of thing and you don't really you know for ages they couldn't figure out why they just sort of accepted it and that's why they started counting the footsteps to try and figure out what's actually going on and the actual um headmistress let's say you never actually get the students never actually get to see um but that's why it's all kind of strange and it turns out that the headmistress is this witch from many many years ago who first founded not the school but the building was a coven and it mm. became like all witches and I think it was every single person at the dance school other than this American girl was a witch except obviously the people that managed to get killed during the story so it's very confusing as to whether either all the teachers are witches in which we only really see two teachers but there's a room yeah. full of people it's either one of two endings because the ending is that she kills this very old witch and for some reason the whole school decides to burn down um, so either it's just the teachers that are witches and this girl massacres all these other people that go to the school that are innocent or everybody there except for the what, five or six people that get killed in this movie and the um, good guy um, are all witches which it didn't really sort of sum up who it was and also at the end they're like oh it's the American girl, it's the American girl but then ten minutes into the film we're told that there's like at least four or five American girls in this school so how do they know which American girl they were going on about? So he was panicking, that's what's going on. Yeah, it's just 
I mean, it's a decent film. It is a decent film. It, every death in it is fantastic. Not in, that's not me giving it a compliment. That's me saying about the editing style. Like, it's very, very creative. Yeah, it's like, um, I'm not saying they're fantastic, but they're filmed fantastic. And the fact that one person is killed and she comes through a, gla a plain glass roof, which ends up killing another woman, you know, and um, there's a blind man who has a dog and it suddenly turns and bites his throat out and the shooting of it is like it's pretty cool um the that's the only death that i thought was really good because we had this foreshadowing like 10 minutes before where one of the teachers was like well, your dog bit this little boy and he's obviously going well no of course he didn't this dog's never hurt anyone and then that night the dog turns around and rips his throat out and it runs away and we never see the dog again um, there is a lot of that. There's a lot of we get like these little things and then they're never seen again. For instance, um, at one point, maggots come through the ceiling and they show a box full of maggots. Mm, yeah. That leads nowhere. That's just there to sort of creep you out and find it disgusting. Um, they're drugging this American woman, but then at the end, it shows that. They're putting a spell on her to make her ill. So the question is, why are they drugging her if there's a spell on her? You know. Um, I always found it a little bit confusing because um, cause I've seen this film before. But the drink she has, when she's being drugged, it's I don't know because it obviously looks like wine because the glass, but it also looks a lot like the blood that was used in the rest of the film. Yeah. So and I think she, she was meant to be water. drinking blood, but surely she would know if it, if maybe I'm wrong. You'd know whether it was wine or not. And then when she goes to wash it away, it's very hard to wash away. Yeah. And then, like, it, it looks like fish or pork or something, but it could easily be something else. And, um... Or pork. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Um, and then, um, like, other things, like, for instance, the maggot scene was made so that everyone had to, like, sleep in this one hall, everybody, and that's when we first see, like, the headmistress. Because that was the... Probably the writers probably only put that in so that you could see her. But then, why would the headmistress need to be there? Because surely, the maggots in the ceiling, not that we get told anything, surely that would have had something to do with the witches, so why would they risk having this probably old witch being seen by everyone innocently else? Innocently, just that it was a bad batch of food. It was just it was just a crate of food that they'd ordered, and it's gone bad. It is just... Do you know what I mean? And... It was a very convoluted story for something that's so basic. Um, it's shot really nicely. It's a really nice... It's like, an Argento movie. Yeah, the, the lighting's really nice. The colours are really nice. The music is ten times louder than everything else in the film, which is really off-putting. Do you like it? No. It's just I that one thing repeated over and over again. I did not... I liked the music, but I didn't like how loud it was. It was too off-putting. It gave me a... So I think it's atmospheric? No, I didn't at all. Okay. No, like when you watch, say, a Hitchcock or something, you can make music atmospheric without having it ten times louder. It was, like, ten times louder than screams in the film. It was so loud. Um, like, at many points I went to go and turn it down, but then realising that if I turned it down I wouldn't be able to hear anyone talking so um I like the film I think the film's got flaws oh um, no I, d I, I didn't mind the film I mean it may sound like I didn't like the film but there's just a lot of problems with it like for the acting's awful no there is not a good actor in this it's so bad um I pointed it out to you didn't I there's a teacher who's meant to be Russian I guess yeah um and she's just really quick with everything she says. Ah, blah, 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 sort of thing. They're, no, any, whoever's learning to act for this film, they need to learn to take breaths between words. And overacting. Maybe she need to breathe. Yeah, I guess not. Yeah. Um, and overacting is rife in this. Um, like, for instance, the main girl, she sees, like, this big woman and son, which we never learn about either. We never you learn think, anything. You about figure there's it. some sort of strange relationship. It's yeah. like a six or seven year old boy, um, you know, in this little school outfit. And this we thing. just never learn anything about them. They're just literally silent characters through the whole of it. Um, and she sees them and she starts going, um, she starts to feel weak. 
spend instead of expressing it like a normal person, like oh god I'm weak, she's like oh oh god I'm weak. <laughs> oh, oh it's so overacted. It's it, again it's really distracting. It's really Which distracting. Isn't very well. I know, but it's so overacted and. I think it's it's kind of charming. I mean. It's creepy, it's just, it's, you know, I think it is really creepy because you've got the whole, she starts the school, she realises things aren't quite what they seem, people are very unfriendly and the people that talk to her are obviously terrified of what's going on, um, and you can't leave, and it's just very eerie, it's just, I I know I feel incredibly uncomfortable and that's, like, you just, you can just feel the atmosphere through the screen. Um, well, I think it, I mean ag- another thing is another thing is right at the beginning she can't stay at the school, so she has to stay with another student. So she stays with that student for one night, then she has this week turn and she has to stay at the school. Never see that student again. She just disappears. No, no reasoning. We don't have like she died or anything. You just never see her again. Where did she go? You know, I think this is a very good example of a, sh- a film. Obviously, you really liked it, but um, I think this is a very good example of a film that is brilliantly shot. Every, like, I mean, some of the sets must have been amazing yeah. to work on. Nice. Uh, but, but it's poorly written, and it's poorly directed, and it's poorly edited. That's what I thought. Fair I mean, enough. The music was really loud. The acting was awful. Um, the Like I said, there's so many holes to everything in the film. Um like um if you want uh, hopefully you've been watching all our reviews and um i remember in our first review you're next we questioned the stupidity of a character that gets into a window and then jumps down from the window about looking straight underneath them exactly the same thing happens here a yeah. girl gets into the window and she dives into a room and the room's full of barbed wire you know like something out of saw so Stupid. She deserved to die. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Not, not feeling very positive today, are we? <laughs> well, it just it was like I said, it is really nicely shot. I mean, if you like that sort of thing, it's really not like there's it just little things like um she'll be in a room, she'll turn the light off and the light will turn green, which was really eerie. Very, it was really yeah, it was nice. Very colour with colour Yeah, it was used. a lot of nice colour used in this and not a lot of light um, lighting was used, um, which I guess you could say was part of the directing. So maybe the directing wasn't all bad. But I think it was Zack Snyder. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but the um, directing of actors was terrible. I mean, I know this is an early, like this is a seventies or eighties film, in which you kind of give it for the acting, but it's so overacted. It's like watching uh, Friday the Thirteenth. It's that bad of an acting. I think it's nice for a film of that era where you've got like the video nasties and things like that. Like it's not bad cons- compared to other films of the time. I know you've got films like you know you've got Hitchcock, Hitchcock. So there's, there shouldn't be any excuses for really. Well, no. Movies, even but... even if we sort of take it to that time, we take um, Hammer House of Horror. The yeah. acting in that is always awful, but yeah. you let it go because it's part of the charm. I guess. I couldn't let it go for this film. I mean, I think if I was watching this film, I watched this film a very long time ago and I completely forgot about it, which says a lot. Um, but I think if I was watching this again just to watch it, I think I would let this all go. But because we were reviewing these, obviously I was concentrating a bit more. And like I said, there's so many holes. There's such bad acting. The, the music was close to giving me a headache. Um, which is a shame because, like, the overall story is quite fitting actually at the moment. Because I don't know if anyone watches it, but American Horror Story is about to do a witch storyline called The Coven, and they are actually discussing things that I can imagine being an American Horror Story. And mm-hmm. I could mm-hmm. easily imagine that American Horror Story used this film to help them with the series, which I'm looking forward so you, to you seeing. You didn't know, um, Dan had forgotten all about the film and um, didn't know when I picked it that. Um, it was witches. No, I thought it was all down to. And it's the first. Going it's the one and only um, at the moment, probably mm. the only witch horror movie on the list. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, there aren't that. Me- I want to say there aren't that many out. There probably are. But witches. Yeah. yeah not no. not serious horror films. No, I can't really think of a lot. But then, to be honest, it's one of those ones that they're ridiculous, aren't they? Witches. It's just ridiculous. 
Um, which is ridiculous because we just say <laughs> say that five times really clearly. Um, I think I could see the similarities that you said because you said this was like Black Swan. I could similarities. see the similarities. It's not the same, it's but it's, same. it echoes. I mean, um, I think it's more because of the dancing. It probably. I was thinking about it. I think you got it. And maybe the creepiness of when um, Natalie Portman's going insane in that film. Um, but it just. Yeah, it w it was a decent film. It's definitely one that people should watch, um, but it just maybe I was just too concentrating on it. But it was really distracting. A lot of it was so distracting. Um, I think if you leave your brain outside and you have the TV turned down really low and you don't mind really bad. I think acting. it's like you know, it's Sunday evening. The weather's bad. You just want to put something on, and not have to worry about it. Kind of a, you know. I think people should watch it just because it's one of those films that not a lot of people have seen, but it's iconic in its cult status. Mm. Kind of like The Wicker Man and stuff like that. Not a lot of people have seen it, but the people who have seen it go on about it. Um, I don't know why. I mean, I didn't think it was incredibly special. Um, Maybe you didn't think it standed the you know, test of time. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe if I'd watch this a lot sooner. Standard, the way you said. Huh? Stood. Standard. Test I think I just said standard. Yeah, Stood the test. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> someone's English isn't great today. <laughs> um, but yeah, when it comes to rating, I mean, I'd give it a four. A four really? Out of ten. Yeah, just because. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I've said my points, and those points greatly outweigh the good. The the deaths are really good. I liked the deaths. They're good for like that old 70s. I can tell that's ketchup sort of um, deaths. Yeah, I don't think it doesn't hide from the middle, does it? Just no, of course it not. Is. It's one of those ones that is an obvious foreign B movie, which um, just doesn't. It does. It's like done on a low budget and that. And I give it allowances for that. I liked the deaths. Um, I especially like the dog one. I thought the dog one was quite good because um, it just came out of nowhere. You didn't expect it. And I liked the lighting and the shooting for the film, but everything else, yeah, no. no I liked it. I thought it was um, it was creepy. It was just it was just well rounded. I think like, yeah, there's a lot of flaws, but um, it's not. I don't think it's ever going to make my I don't know top ten best films ever or even horror movies ever. But um, I think it's a solid six. Yeah. 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 It's a little bit higher. Not not up there with the you know the really good ones, but I enjoy it. And I think it's the sort of film that if you give it enough, to, if you give it enough sort of a couple of years to forget about the film and you watch it again, it's it's alright. Yeah. I, I don't feel like I need to watch it again anytime soon. Yeah. No. But would you recommend it to people? Yeah, I think you should see it. I do think you should see it. Don't be put off. Um, it's <laughs> it's positive. The same, well, but this is, this is good. Yeah, we both should, disagree. Should see it. Yeah. yeah, but um, I mean, I think people should watch it if you're bored and you're trying to find a horror that you haven't seen. I don't think you should go out and watch this. Like, I don't think that I wouldn't recommend people to watch this review to rush out and go and see it. I would say if you're looking for a horror that Something you haven't different. seen, yeah, uh, if you're looking for a horror that you haven't seen, like I do on a many occasions, I'm like, I want to watch a horror and I haven't seen, I haven't seen one. Um, if you're doing one of those, definitely watch it. Um, just to say mm. you've watched it, because so many people say it's amazing. And I'm not sure you've seen the next film. I haven't seen the next film. Um, but um, I know that Suspiria is one of those ones that pops up on top 100 horror lists, along with like Don't Look Now and stuff like that, which is one that you should watch. That's quite a good one. Um, but I wouldn't rush out to go and see it. That's my opinion. Obviously, someone else would say that you should go and watch it. So that's that's Suspiria. Yeah. yeah. So next movie. Yep. Oh, am I yeah, announcing it? Oh, okay. Um, next movie is Rob Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses. I haven't seen this, so it's part of one on the list that I haven't seen. Which so I'm looking forward to watching it. Um, you've seen it, haven't I you? I remember thinking positive things but I've forgotten what happens yeah. so I'm actually quite looking forward to this yeah um, House of a Thousand Corpses is also part of the family of um, Devil's Rejects yep, yep, yep. and I 
think there's another one, but I can't remember. Oh, and also, actually, going back to Suspiria quite quickly, um, I did notice there's a little cameo for people that might know kind of their actors, because I don't know the actor's name. Um, the main girl asked to see, like, I think it's meant to be a psychiatrist or something, mm -hmm. and it looks like, I'm not 100% sure, it looks like it plays. it's played by a very young... If you've watched Blade, um, the elder vampire guy, you know, that Frost kills. That Frost kills? Yeah, you know, he kills the elder vampires yeah, and yeah. the one, the head yeah. um, elder vampire. It looks like it's him because it, it looked like by the eyes and he looked really young and he had we the same face. check that out. So we will check that out and we will definitely confirm it or say it's wrong in the next video um, but you can guys can check it out but um yeah. and also we will be seeing you tomorrow for house of a thousand corpses mm -hmm. hopefully i'll like it a lot more than i liked this film oh and well you know if you didn't enjoy it then the only way is up yeah you know? Yeah, it's kind, of, kind of like we watched you on after Human Centipede 2. Not that this is any in the league. I mean, compared to Human Centipede 2, this film is a masterpiece. There were less spiders in this movie. Yes, in this review. Hopefully there aren't any. Yeah. Okay, so we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.